My dad had done different things, and um, I think his dream was to have a restaurant. And he was well into his 50s, uh, 53, 55. You know, I think of today, they would never have gotten along today. I mean, he was a guy with 11 kids, uh, never had owned a business, um, had experience in the food service industry, but um, had never done anything like this before. But um, the opportunity came up. Uh, the, at the time, it was the Penobscot Inn. I uh, had an, a vacancy in their restaurant and lounge, and Dad came in and uh, started it up by John Gagan's Roundhouse Restaurant and Lounge. And uh, you know, honestly took pots and pans and equipment from home, cooking for the, a family of that size, and just started the business with that. When somebody visits Gagan's for the first time, I think we'd like to, to experience a feeling of being at home in their living room. I like to say it took us 35 years, but we finally had a good location. Main Street, it, I think it all started with the Folk Festival. That was the, the catalyst of change on Main Street. And um, then of course, um, Hollywood Slots came in. That, that was another big change. Uh, and then the casino, and then uh, they redid the, the Bangor Auditorium. And, and we went from being the, at the end of the road to what I call the bullseye. We were right in the middle of where all the activity was happening. Andrew originally started in the business as a kid in high school and college. Um, did a great job for us, uh, left, went to work as a school teacher, uh, then went back to school at Bangor Theological Seminary where he got his master's degree in theology and uh, was a minister for a while. So one day we were uh, stacking wood together. He came down to give me a hand and he said, uh, what do you think about me getting back into the business? And for a minute I thought, oh, you're kidding, I mean, seriously? And uh, we talked about it, and then I got a hold of uh, my brothers Pat and Pete and said, what do you guys think? And they were excited, very excited. Um, Andy's a smart guy, a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm for the business, and obviously had a background. You know, being third generation in a family business, I, I grew up with it, and um, you know, it was always in my, my thought process. So, I went away to college, did a bunch of different things, and then the opportunity arose and it just seemed right to get back into the family business. And, and when I approached my dad and uncles, it was a real great time. And their thought process was to have me bring craft beer back into the family business a little bit and, and see what we could do at the pub. Once we got going with the beer, um, I think we all came to realize that it was really excellent beer. Uh, and that's what really changed my mind was the response we got from our customers. They loved it. They just loved the beer. Um, Andy was dedicated to it. Uh, and so when the next chance to, to uh, move forward with the beer production came, it was a lot less scary because we knew we had a great product. One thing led to another and, and uh, now you, you see all of this. So for me, it's, it's really about um, you know family and it's a, it's a generational thing and it's about being in Bangor and from Bangor and um, you know I, I love making beer but I love the people way way more so um, for me it's always been that sort of thing and they've been amazing to be able to see what was happening with craft beer and and be supportive of us developing this brand um, and we've got the best staff and the best people around so it's it's been a wonderful wonderful trip the difference between having craft beer and not having craft beer is like black and white TV versus color TV. Uh, and once you go to color TV, you never go back. Uh, people come in, they're excited. They're excited to try the new beer. They're try, excited to uh, talk with Andy or, or one of the other brewers about how the beer is made. And it really, for our customers, they became part of something bigger. We, our mug club was a huge success. Uh, a lot of people enjoy uh, just coming down as a community uh, in the mug club and the beer is really really the uh, conduit that holds it all together. Mm -hmm.